Alex, baseline, would do exactly the same thing. So what's the first progression? Lefty forehand. Second progression? Um, one hand backhand. Third progression? Backhand. All right. So if you have three different variations, can you name three players that can apply, that you can visualize how it's supposed to look like? Give me your variation and give me my variation. So the first one, Yeah. the only one I can think of is Rafael Nadal because he plays lefty. Fair enough, okay. Second. Roger Federer. Okay, third. Novak Djokovic. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> my variation, okay. I go with Nadal. He's the best left existing right now. Second, Federer Vavrenka. Same country, both same, right? We like both. Third, I go with Alex. <laughs> because you have your identity. You create your own backhand, right? Yes. So, I like Djokovic too, but you have your own backhand. Yes. Yes? Do you yes. agree? Yes. So, what's the third option? Me. What's your name? Alex. Alex backhand, right? Got it? Yes. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ready. Good. Bend and go up. Very good. Bend and go up. Yes. Wow. You make it look so easy, Rafael Nadal. Nice. Oh, you moved. <laughs> okay. Come forward. No, no, you come forward. Foot here, foot here. There you go. Is there a reason I have this target here? and I'm gonna move it back over there. Because when we do something new, skill-wise and technique-wise, I don't want your body to go everywhere. If I don't have this one here, you can go and do this. You can go like here. You can go something like this. It's moving too much, but if you know you have to be stable, your mind it should be more visualizing how it's supposed to be the feet aligned to the ground. Okay, I'm gonna move it back. And let's see how you're going to do from the baseline. Good, stay there. Nice, bend, bend. Very nice, try. Good. Uh, keep your right arm out, longer. Nice try, don't force it. Go. Very nice. Good. As we can see, Go back your racket. He's trying to do this. Now apply to what happened with two hands. Now put your, um, switch your hands. So if we do that here, we won't be here. So this now does not bend as much, but it's a little bit to support it. And then you can go quick. So now the right does the quick snap per se. So we have to make sure condition the left wrist to be strong. Hold it, hold your racket. Hold your racket. I want to make sure this is like moving up, down, right, left. Because you have to get back your racket. So you move it back and also down. So major common mistake and injury you have is here. To have injuries on the left wrist with right hips. Because this is not strong enough. And if that happens, is no good injury to have. It takes a long time to heal. If it gets deeper, you need like kind of surgery to clean it up. Okay, go again. Lefty, lefty, lefty. Lower. Pinky lower. Pinky. Good. Hold it. Down, down. Nice. Go. Very good. You're so strong, Alex. Say, I'm strong. Say it. <laughs> I'm strong. Yes, keep your eye higher. Thank you, bend your knees. Go. Nice. Yes, good shape on the ball. Bend. Nice, look at that, Nadal. Go, under. Easy, slow down the swing. I know you're strong. Again. Bend and go up. I want to see you low to high with your legs. Right arm high. Go, low to high. Very good. Get comfortable doing that. Very nice. Go again. Down. Very nice. Oh, you move something? 
stand bit get your feet between yes down 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 yes swing very good bend up wow but you move your feet it's okay as, as long as one foot on the ground bend your knees low to high great ready down down swing up use your legs your power go very nice down up great okay variation number two which one, one is it one hand the back hand who played with it roger feather or vavrinka show me stop 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 go back so it's important to the grip it to be to the left there you go it's important the reason we do that for you to drop you see that yes let it left out left out left out drop all right down down very good you feel it don't swing too fast medium speed ready how's your right arm do I have to remind you every time to be straight this arm? No, right? Bend your knees. Good. Go. That's okay. Very nice. I'm okay with that. Don't worry. Ready? Wow. Easy. Ready. Again. Straight back. Go. Again, I'm okay with that. Don't worry. Back, back, back. Your right cut back. Bend your knees. Very good. Wow, Roger Feather. Go. Nice try. Drop it a little bit more. Straight your arm. Drop and go up. Wow, I like that. Keep looking down, buddy. Look down. Nice. Back, under. Whoop, a little bit too much. Slow down. Go under. Very good. You make it look so easy, Feather. Bend your knees. Nice. Go again. Bend your knees. That's okay. Control your body. Ready. Drop. Nice. Very good. Drop. Good try. Couple more. Hey, can you go up with your legs? Control it, okay? Ready. Straight your arm, bend your knees, more your knees, and go up. Excellent. That's how you get power. Ready. Down and up. Very good. Give me a couple more like that. Down, down and up. Very good. That's how we get height. Very good. Down and up. Oh, you move your feet. Be in position. Control. Medium speed. Back. Down. Up. Very nice, Alex. Down. Up. I'm okay with that. Ready. Straight your arm. Down. Up. Did you notice? The ball is very high. I didn't say anything. We want to go high. You have no balls to the net after some time. You adjust it. If you go just with your wrist, of course you have no power. But if you get your legs involved and go up, easier to get power. Yes. Okay, now two hands. Two hands. Uh, who hits like that? Um, Alex. Wow, who is Alex? Me. What's your last name? Doggy. Oh, Doggy. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Are you going to play flat or slice? Spin. What spin? <laughs> Under spin? Top spin. Oh, that's only a top spin. Okay. So you're going to hit the net, right? No. Okay, good. Okay, let me see. Ready. Bend your knees. Oh, you barely made it over. <laughs> Bend your knees. Very good. Remind yourself to drop the right wrist. Drop the right wrist. Okay? Drop. Very good. Wow, Alex. Drop your right wrist. 
Nice angle. Bend your knees, drop. Very good. Ready? Very good. Nice clearance. Bend your knees. Again. Bend, it's okay. Bend more your knees. Bend and go up. Excellent. Drop your right wrist. Wow, you got it. Nice. Drop your right. A little more with confidence, okay? Down, up. More. Hear me out. Drop, okay? Go. Knees and wrist. Very good. A little more. Five more. Drop. Very good. Be in balance. Back. Drop. Very good shape. That was a good clearance. Back. Very good. Ready? Drop. Nice. Okay. That was still difficult or easy compared to there from the service line. The first two are harder. Which one's two? The lefty forehand and the one hand the backhand. Okay. Were harder. Why? Because you had more distance to clear. Okay. Fair enough. And the two hands? The two hands it's pretty much easy because you do it all the time more comfortable right the biggest part for me is when you do the lefty and the single hand backhand when you put these things together you feel a little bit stronger you get too excited you have to still remind yourself to bend your knees okay give me your right hand. i don't want you just to stand drop and do like this or do all this defeats the purpose i still i want you to activate your legs and your core to drop and go up. If we do this, too lazy. It's not gonna happen. Never gonna hit the ball like this. Because at some point you have to move. Next yes. progression, you move into the ball. At least we were clear with that. Is it clear? Yes. That you have to bend your knees by doing that. And don't use only the wrist and abusing it because you can hurt your wrist by doing that only. Excellent. Any questions? Um, no. No? We got the ball, very good. So as a farther progression, we move farther back, we do the same routine, but I increase the volume of the lefty forehand without telling him. So I want him to see how far he can go. If I see the quality drops, then I can stop it and I can move on to the one hand backhand. But at the same time, I want to make sure he's challenging himself to make a little bit more fatigue the arm, both arms. So when it's two, he's using more his legs. Because if the arms are tired, he has no power, he has to use his legs. So in a, indirectly, I do reverse psychology without telling him. Uh, if you have a student who is asking too many questions, then I have to break it down beforehand so they know what to expect. So it depends the athlete we have and the personality, we have to go along with that. So there's a good progression to create top spin, a good progression to strength and prevent injuries from the wrist and also a good way to get clearance over the net. There's many ways you can put a rope over the net, you can put many targets over the net, but if you have some kind of strength for this age, young age, when to play with orange ball or green dot, then you go to yellow ball. The yellow ball is heavier, so I have to make sure I strength the wrist in order to ask them to do the same shots they used to do with the green dot ball or orange ball. So it has to be certain progression, certain patience from the coaches to the players too. So we cannot progress too fast and get injuries or great habits, bad habits indirectly.